Hi, I'm Kent. In this video, I'm going to try out some zirconium. A while ago, I picked up a bunch of different oxides and tried them out, both individually and as different layers. One of the other ones I picked up was zirconium, which I didn't try out. That was partially because I was running out of the cups I used to do these little tests. But the other reason is my clay body fire is mostly white, and zirconium is a white colorant, so I wasn't sure it'd be all that interesting. Here are the four glazes that I mixed up. I have copper, cobalt, magnetese, and rutile. And here's some footage of the pots that I got out of that. And so the last one I got is zirconium, or the brand name is Zircopax. And from what I understand, this is an opacifier, or it will turn white when it's added to a glaze. However, this is the color of my clay body. It is maybe a cream color, a bit off-white, and I wasn't sure that firing white on top would be all that interesting. What I want to do in this video is mix up a batch of this, and then layer it both on top and underneath these other oxide-based glazes. I'll also do one just all by itself to see what it looks like on my clay body. That way we can see what it looks like. I'm hoping the contrast between the whites and the colors will be something interesting. Well, let's find out. So first up is I need to mix up the glaze. I have 300 grams by dry weight of glaze in this container. So what I need to do is add in the zirconium. Looking online, it looks like 10% might be a good number to add. So I'm going to try adding 30 grams of the zircopax into this glaze. 10% is a relatively high amount, so we'll see how that goes. I think my low precision scale is going to be plenty good for this application, since I'm measuring out such large quantities. I'll just dump some out here. Looks like it's been quite a bit. Dump that in. So I need 14 more. All right, 14. All right, 16 plus 14. That is 30 to match the 300 grams by dry weight of my glaze here. All right now I need to mix this up well, and to that I will use my emergent blender. So quick, let's give it a quick stir, and we'll mix it up. All right, there we go. Let me go ahead and label this before I forget. So this is the first five gloss. 10% Zirko. Packs. All right, label the side, label the lid. That way if they get separated, I know what it is. All right, the glaze is all good to go. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and glaze some pots with this. I have a bunch of these small cups here that I'm gonna glaze. I have four different oxides that I want to test out both layers, and I wanna have a layer of this on the bottom for each of them. So that means I need four cups, and I'm gonna do one cup straight up with just the Zirko packs. So that means I will need five. So I'll go ahead and dunk this in. And repeat. All right, there's five. So we're done with this one for now. Next up, I wanna test the oxide glaze as the base layer. I have four different versions of that, so I need four more pots. So I have the cobalt first. I have not used these in quite a while, so I need to make sure they're mixed up pretty well. We'll send this one all the way in. All right, done with this one for now. So I don't get these mixed up. I'm gonna make sure I align the glaze up with the appropriate row. It's gonna be off camera for you, but that way I can keep track. All right, Rutile's next. Manganese. You can watch the color change as it sucks the water out of the glaze. It's really cool. The last one I want to find the base is copper. That's the base coat for everything. I have one that I'm just gonna leave with the zirconium, and then I have four with the base coat of zirconium, and then I have four with the base coat of the four different oxide glazes. Now let's put a top coat on. So we'll start with the ones where I put the base coat on first. So that's the zirconium. So this one here, and it is in my cobalt row. So I want to dip basically halfway down, or maybe a third of the way down, into cobalt. So that way we'll have layered cobalt on top of the zirconium. And the base glaze for these is the same. So the base glaze will fire clear by itself, and with the added oxides, it fires the associated color. All right, cobalt on top. Rutile. Rutile on top. Manganese. Got to remember not to dip these all the way. 
manganese on top, and finally copper. Now I'll take the zirconium and do a top layer on these four with the base oxide glaze. So this one has cobalt on the bottom, the zirconium on top now, and teal on the bottom, the manganese on the bottom, and finally the copper on the bottom. All right, there we go, nine pots glazed. I'm gonna make some notes so I know which one's which, and we'll load these into the next glaze firing. Here are the results of the tests. I have all these pots laid out here, and we can go through them. So in the front is all of the pots that have the zirconium on the bottom with the oxide on the top. In the back is the opposite, the one with the oxide glaze on the bottom and the zirconium on top. First though, I want to do just the zirconium pot. So this one, I was a little skeptical. I wasn't sure I was going to include it. And originally I was like, oh, it's just white. That's not interesting. I actually really like this pot. The bright white is pretty cool. For comparison, this is just the clear base glaze over my pot. And then this is the white. And it may not show up on camera, but there's a pretty stark difference between these two. So I am glad to have the white glaze. I actually really like it. All right, now we can do the head-to-head -head comparisons. Here's the copper. So copper on the bottom, zirconium on the bottom and then layered. The colors on top are somewhat similar. It's a nice kind of turquoise color, which is pretty cool. I think both of those work pretty well. I think I probably prefer this one, actually. Here is the manganese. Again, the manganese creates this kind of nice brownish color. And there's, I don't know, it's kind of like this coffee color kind of coming through when they're layered. I think this one this one's a little bit more mottled. This one here, I think, just turned into like a lighter brown. Here with the rutile, again, it's this very kind of subtle shade of yellowish brown. When it's layered, it just turns into kind of an off-white color. With this pot, you can see the difference a little bit more, but it's still pretty subtle. There's a variation between the lighter brown and the white at the bottom. And last but not least, the cobalt. Cobalt's a very strong colorant, it seems. And here we actually have some pretty pronounced differences between the order of application. So with the cobalt on the bottom and the white on top, we have this kind of nice white with this kind of blue kind of color coming through versus the other order with the cobalt on top, it's just a paler blue. So that's an interesting effect. Actually, I think I like the overlaid one. So I wasn't quite sure what the zirconium would do in a glaze, and I'm glad I tried it out. I think having this white and being able to overlay it on some of the glazes is going to be really cool, as well as using it just straight up. That was a fun little test. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks.